so I'm going to show you how to make a homemade tree watering system, a drip for drip irrigation. Um, in this time when we can't afford to have water being wasted by spraying and our trees still need water, I'll show you what I've done. So pretty much, let's start with what you need. You need a Home Depot bucket with lid. You need some small piping or half inch or one quarter inch um, stakes, a micro tubing compression adapter, which goes from three quarter inch uh, to the micro uh, one quarter inch tube. You need button drippers. You can pick, uh, this one is, you see one gallon per hour. Um, they have half gallon ones, they have two gallon ones. So it's really up to what you wanna do. You need a three quarter inch male adapter. You need some O-rings and then you need tubing. Uh, this is 50 feet of three quarter inch tubing. The tools you'll need, you'll need a drill with a hole saw inside of it. Um, this hole saw is smaller than the adapter. The adapter is three quarter inch, but you don't want it to be that size, otherwise you can have leakage issues. The O-rings will help with that, but really you want to make sure it's nice and tight from the beginning. You also need some pipe cutters. Um, you can use a Dremel or a saw, but we're going to reduce the size of this so because the bucket's pretty thin, so you don't need to have it that long. So that's the supplies, and let's and I'll take you into how to do it. So you want to start by finding close to the bottom. You don't want to be exactly at the bottom, but you want to be pretty close to the bottom. And you start drilling your hole. So there we go, so we have our hole now. We're gonna take the three quarter inch, we're gonna cut it down. You're only gonna take a little bit off, you don't need much, but you do wanna reduce the size, so that way you have a nice tight connection. Okay, so just take a little bit off, not too much. You take a O-ring, you put the O-ring over the, the threaded side and you're going to feed the, the thread side in and you're going to pretty much thread this in. Clean this up a little bit. I like to thread from both sides so that way I know I've got a good connection in there. You can see inside, you can actually see the connection and how nice and tight that is. You're gonna put the other O-ring on the outside just to help make sure we're nice and tight. You're gonna take that micro tubing compressor, compressor, which takes the three quarter inch, like a regular spigot into um, the micro tubing. I leave the screen inside of it because in case your water, if you're using rainwater or whatnot, you don't want to have any of the debris get inside your tubing, clog your tubing or your bubbler. And then you just screw that on. So that's nice and tight. So you can see, nice, good, tight connection. Take yourself a piece of the tubing now you want to do like maybe a foot or two, you know, nothing too much. So as long as you want, but generally you just want it pretty good. 
So you can use scissors for this or your pipe cutters if you have pipe cutters. Scissors would be quicker. Pipe cutters are really don't like. Okay. So you take your tubing, and because this is a compression fitting, you're going to push it in. Until it's in it nice and tight, give it a good little pull, and you shouldn't be able to pull it out easily. This is going to keep everything nice and solid. You're going to take your stakes, just put one towards the end here for your bubbler. You take your bubbler. Your bubbler just fits right on the end, nice and tight, just like that. And let me go ahead and show you what it looks like once you've got it in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the bucket now. And we're gonna put it on the ground and you're gonna stake in your bubbler close to the tree. Wood chips definitely help keep your ground uh, from it drying out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour in the water now. This is uh, my free water that I make myself. I have a different video which I'll link. Probably popped up right now so you can go ahead and see that video. There it is. How I'm I get negative, free water. Almost three kilowatts. Now we'll go inside. Five to ten gallons like a day. Get rainwater. Just work with rainwater. Here we go. I haven't got my rainwater collection yet, but I see, live see in the desert. That's water much coming rain. out of there. And I have the cup in there as a little float. About five gallons. A little five gallon bucket. You're gonna make sure. But at this rate, you put your lid on. This lid will help keep a lot of the um, the algae from growing, and it will keep a lot of the bugs out. So that way, you don't get. Um, mosquitoes in here. You don't want to breed mosquitoes. If you take a look down here, you can kind of see it dripping out. You actually see the water dripping and that is what it's doing. So it's just slowly releasing this water in the bucket into the ground. Maintenance free. All you got to do is add water. Um, you could actually have these hooked up to a float. If you have rainwater collection to have piping going to that and keeping it full to where you want to keep it filled to. Um, but I've got two of these so far and I've got a couple more trees I got to do, but a lot easier than um, having to hand water all day. So thanks and look forward to more videos.